Hey guys, welcome back to YouTube channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Uh, thank you for 21,000 subscribers. You guys are the best. Keep subscribing, keep liking, keep commenting, keep sharing, keep doing everything that you guys do. We really, really do appreciate. Please keep motivating me by giving me stuff to react to and I'll be more than glad to react to whatever you suggest. Just give the name or the link to the specific video you want us to react to and will do it and um be friends with us find us on instagram and facebook as funny and jesse head there say hi we'll say hi back you can check out our second youtube channel called funny and jesse 2.0 head there and enjoy the content that we're actually putting out so today i'm going to be reacting to jesus say in the bible before abraham was i am dr zaki naik so without wasting time let's get into the video I am a student from Indonesia. My question is, how do I refute the arguments of Christians who want to prove from the Bible that Jesus was the Lord by quoting the Gospel of John, chapter number 8, verse number 58, which reads, I existed before Abraham. What the Pharisees is referring to is the verse of the Bible, from Gospel of John, chapter number 5, verse number 58, in which Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says, Before Abraham was I am. And there are many Christians who quote this verse from the Bible and say, From this verse we come to know very clearly that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he was Almighty God. And when we ask them, How does this verse prove that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, Almighty God? They give two reasons. Number one, they say, because Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was present before Abraham, peace be upon him, that means he was God. The reply to this argument is that every creation of Almighty God existed in the knowledge of Almighty God before he was created. Every human being that came on the face of the earth, before he came, he existed in the knowledge of Almighty God. And there are verses from the Bible which can prove this point. If you read the book of Jeremiah, chapter number 1, verse number 5, Almighty God says, <coughs> Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew you. And before you came out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I made you a prophet over the nations. Here Almighty God is talking to Prophet Jeremiah that before he was formed in the belly of his mother, Almighty God knew his existence. Before he came out of the womb, Almighty God has already sanctified him and made him a prophet to the nations. That means every human being was present in the knowledge of God before he came. So similarly, if Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was there before he came or before Abraham, peace be upon him, it's nothing new. This is what the Bible says. Every human being was there in the knowledge of God before he came on the face of the earth. There is a second argument given by some Christians, quoting this verse from Gospel of John chapter 5, verse number 58, when Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says that before Abraham was I am. And they say, I am is the proper noun of Almighty God. It is the name of Almighty God. And to prove their point, they quote the verse of the glorious Quran from the book of Exodus, chapter number 3, verse number 14. When Moses, peace be upon him, he asks Almighty God that when he goes to the children of Israel, how will he call God? What name will he give? And when he goes to the children of Israel, how will he address that the God of your fathers, what name should he take? So Almighty God replies in the book of Exodus, chapter number 3. Allah rep Almighty God replies in the book of Exodus, chapter number 3, verse number 14, that God says to Moses, I am what I am. And he says to Moses, 
that when you go to the children of Israel, tell them, I am has sent me to you. So here we come to know from this verse of the Bible that I am is the proper name of Almighty God. But normally, a proper name of Almighty God, when it is translated into other languages, the proper noun remains the same, it's not translated. There can be certain occasions where required it can be translated, but generally a proper noun is not translated. For example, if I say in English that Mr. Black has come to my house, I cannot say in Arabic that Mr. Aswad came to my house or in Hindi or Urdu, Mr. Kala came to my house. Mr. Black will remain black even in Arabic, even in Urdu, even in Hindi. Similarly, this is the English translation where God says, I am that I am. But when you read the Hebrew word used in the book of Exodus, chapter number 3, verse number 14, the Hebrew word is ye hi hi he, asher ye hi hi he. And when you read in Greek, it is ego emi. So the word keeps on changing, indicating it's not a proper noun. And as I said, some places it can be translated, but here it's not required. But even if I agree with them, for the sake of argument, okay, it's a proper noun, and it was translated, it was a requirement, no problem. If I am was the name of Almighty God, what does it mean? That Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said in the Gospel of John, chapter number 5, Gospel of John, chapter number 8, verse number 58, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, before Abraham was, I am. If you translate I am as God, it will mean before Abraham was God. So where is the problem? And we do agree that before Abraham, peace be upon him, was Almighty God. So where does it prove that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is God? So then they come up with the argument, but I am means I am. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. So what they do, they want to translate I am as God. We have no problem. But at the same time, they want to take, besides mentioning, even the meaning. So they say before Abraham was God and Jesus Christ peace be upon him same before Abraham was I am that means Jesus was there before Abraham it is impossible you cannot have the complete cake eat the complete cake and also keep the complete cake it's not possible so this is the big illogical fallacy that they want to use the proper noun at the same time take the meaning together it's not possible you cannot have the complete cake that is eat the complete cake as well as keep the complete cake. So the argument of Gospel of John, chapter number 8, verse number 58, claiming that Jesus Christ claimed divinity is totally false. It clearly mentions only that before Abraham, peace be upon him, was Almighty God, or before Abraham, the knowledge of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was there in the knowledge of Almighty God. Hope that answers the question. How do different, I always say this in my videos, I feel like different Christians translate or try to understand the bible in different ways i guess according to what church they actually go to and there's differences here and there yes i understand that but for those that say that i am means i am god and for those that say i am means something else what are your reasons for that i'm trying to understand something here because it's quite confusing how then are we expected to choose something that speaks to us because of the it's really really tough and to see that it's been when it's translated to other languages like greek he said it means something else in another language it mean in hebrew it means something else um it comes up to something else i mean and um i think certain things should have been specific more specific with the way we're living in this world where you can think or translate or interpret things as you see them it's really hard to come up with something that we all agree with an explanation that we all agree with that one is really really hard to reach I, um, I don't know, it's really confusing sometimes, you know. 
otherwise let me know what you guys think i really don't have much to say today um about this that is um if there's something you want me to react to let me know down below just drop the link or the name of whatever you want me to react to and i'll be more than glad to react to it make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video